Hello everyone, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name is Sue and today I'm at Southdown Motor Home Centre in Portsmouth and I'm going to have a look at this fabulous Cathargo S Plus because it's brand new in, hasn't even had the packaging taken off it yet. As you can see from the front, she's got beautiful LED lights, really smart looking front end. So this one is 8.6 metres long, 2.27 metres wide, 3.29 meters high that's quite tall and as you can see with the lockers open it's got a double height floor loads of storage space underneath for things it is accessible from inside too and then here it looks like we've got the gas locker yep there's your water point and the most ginormous garage with a, a lifting up and outward door that is huge absolutely huge some hold back straps, checker plate floor. Can't open the other side because there's a van in the way, but you've got your wind out awning there. And over on that side, you've got your shower and control panel for the electrics. And then at the back here, you can see the reversing camera, which acts as a rear view mirror as well. And it does have a tow bar. And on this side, you've got another big door. You've got your electric power, your toilet system cassette system. All the doors are on grass strips. Nice big storage locker there. Aldi central heating. That's your fridge vent. And another locker door here. Huge underfloor storage <laughs> with lighting. And your add blue. Okay. It has got a fabulous big awning with dimmable lights and light over the door. It's a 5.5 meter awning. It's had some additional security locks added. Let's have a look at this door. It is huge. I mean, I think that's gonna be my word for this van, to be honest. And the height off the floor, because you're on the Aveco. An electronic step. Fabulous. Right, let's have a look inside this beauty. These little bits of carpet are just to protect the floor, but I've switched to wide angle so you can get a better view of the floor space. Fabulous kitchen area, dining area, and cab. This is on the Aveco Daily chassis. It's a Euro 6E engine with eight speed automatic. This one retails at £248,350. There's a lot of hidden extras on this one, the upgraded engine. But yeah, let's have a good walk through and then I will take you back and show you in more detail. I very rarely film anything on a Veco, to be honest. I tend to have the Fiat Ducato or the Mercedes engine and chassis. So it's all new to me, this one, I'm afraid. Obviously, you've got your entertainment system and your air conditioning and all your comfort packages here. There is a step on the passenger door as well. You've got some USB and 12 volt sockets little storage area, charging area for your phone, big A-class cab. Um, I'm assuming that the blind is electronic. It is indeed. So we have an electric blind. We've also got some blinds on the sides here, which I think are like magnetic pull-out ones. There we go. So they pull out to close off the cab. They seem to have changed the fabric on these pull-out blinds in recent years. So there you go, you've got your lovely night blind, all electronic. You can also control your step from here. On the driver's side, or what would be the passenger side in Europe, you've got a big storage locker. Sliding opening window. We've got a mixed fabric and leather finish on the seats. 
in a sort of tanny beige colour. And they do swivel to join in with the table and dining area. It's a very large bench seat there. You've got your headrests and two more driving positions here. And you've got an extendable dining table here. And on this side, you've got another bench seat, lovely comfortable bench seat with a big window behind. Got the insect mesh and the night blinds, which are solid, not concertina ones. And the finishing curtain fabric. You've got some overhead lights and sockets. And above here, we have got some lovely cabinets. Sorry if the lights are strobing. Got a bit of an open shelf here, but above, we have got some fabulous shelving units. Little map sort of storage cupboard on the side there. Underneath the drop down bed area, which again is a not, not electronic, it is just a pull down. So you release the catch and drop it down into the cab area. One thing to point out, which I've always loved on the Cthulgo, are these ship styles. You've got a barometer and a clock and a thermometer. They are fabulous. Same on the other side, big storage unit with shelf underneath. And above here, we have got a fabulous big skylight, which does have blinds again, and it does wind open. Yeah, and you've got a little bit of a wood finish here with your recessed lights. So as you can see, we've got a fabulous bench area. I've hung up my coat, made myself at home. We have got carpets down in here, which you could take up, make it easier to clean. These seats hide a very important part of the van for some people. There is a hidden television in the back of this rest here. That's an electronic control, obviously. So you can sit in your driver or passenger seat or on this side and watch the TV of an evening. And as I say, the table manoeuvres in lots of different directions. You can actually swivel it around completely to bring it closer, get it involved with the cab over there. There is a handle down here. And if you lift it up, it gives you access to the underfloor storage from inside the vehicle. It's a very strong hinge. Hence the pull cords. Fabulous big wide door. As I say, those mats and that foam wouldn't be there. It's just for protecting during transit. And it is literally brand new into the showroom. So you've got a couple of pockets on the door. You've got central locking here. And I've got all your light step and then even a plug socket there on the door. Plus some hooks. And I've also got a cupboard above. Aldi central heating. Um, you've got your water waste. That's your central control panel, basically. Stepping back from that, as you can see, you've got a lovely big long mirror, just bounces the light around. Big handrail to get in and out those big steps, which is chrome. <laughs> and then next to it, we've got the fridge. Obviously it's still got its plastic protective coating on it, but we've got the Dometic fridge again with two way opening and the freezer above. And a nice big cabinet above that. There is also on this one a little side locker, which is lovely. A lovely little slide out, which has floor to ceiling shelves. Absolutely fabulous. Loads of bottle storage. Moving on from here into the kitchen area. We have got another upgrade to this vehicle, which is the Corian worktop. It's a really beautiful feel. Fabulous sink. Recess under there, I presume, to make a little shelf. So you can have an additional shelf. You've got a lovely divider here as well, which is nice. There is something in the divider. I'm not quite sure what. Let's see. That's interesting. A whole pull-out section with another piece of Corian. Actually, that's not Corian. This is Corian. Corian Effect worktop. And there's some bottle storage there. Ah, in your bins. Well hidden. They 
took away nicely. That's a good use of a slim space. Tucks away. They pull out sideways, which is most disconcerting. <laughs> uh, anyway, you've got your power controls and you've got your uh, cutlery tray. You've got a nice curve to the floor space and you've got under counter lighting. Fabulous big drawer underneath there on very smooth runners. And they are self close. And then you've got your lighting controls here. Now here you have got an area which doesn't have a catch, it's just a pull down, there we go. And that's where your coffee machine would sit um, when it's installed. It's, as I say, it's just come in, it's not all kitted out yet. And then above we've got some beautiful curved over counter cupboards. And these ones are not your usual lift up. That's your coffee machine section. So you can access it from inside the cupboard too. But there we go, massive cupboards with lights and above you've got the extractor system again light recessed lighting above and this beautiful glass cabinet which swings open so you've got your beautiful glasses stored in a little cupboard of all of their own very pretty so over the sink you also have a fabulous tap with a pull out shower attachment Sorry about the gloves, it is a little bit chilly in here. Um, we've got a little power socket and some light controls, big window with blinds. And we've got the three burner hob with the cast iron worktop. Got a bit of a acrylic-y splash back there. After that, there is a step up into the bathroom. But you can actually close all of that off and keep it completely separate. So you've got your kitchen and dinette separate to your bathroom and bedroom area with a solid, solid door, which does lock into place. And then just up the step, you've got a beautiful light strip, which can be dimmed, but just look at how much floor space you have <laughs> in the bathroom area for, I mean, you. Two people could easily get showered, washed, you know, somebody cleaning their teeth while somebody's getting dried from a shower. That is a huge, huge bathroom area. Fabulous big shower cubicle with adjustable shower head or a rain shower in the skylight. It has got lighting. You've also got some hooks here that you can pull down and hang your wash kit on. And we've got doors on a runner that are tied back when not in use. You've also got the toilet door here. It doesn't uh, cross over to fill the gap because you've got that sliding partition already. It's just a separate toilet with a lockable door. So there's your Thetford toilet with a towel rail, heated towel rail, separate window. It seems a little bit of a waste of space that you could have had a nice big mirror or maybe another cabinet for, you know, like a, a cosmetics cabinet or something maybe. It just seems to be a lot of space with nothing on it. Another hook in there maybe for a towel to hang near the radiator and maybe a, a cabinet or a mirror in there possibly to make it look slightly bigger. There is a toilet brush down there. <laughs> Very practical. And right next to it we have a huge, absolutely huge uh, wardrobe with two hanging rails. On this side, next to the shower, we've got three fabulous drawers. Also with the wooden lining. A little bit of blue night lighting. And this amazing sink. Fabulous tap, soap dispenser lighting controls for the shower sorry if it strobes but that looks amazing with the lights on doesn't it that's your strip light in the <laughs> in the shower we've got lights in the bathroom we've got lights down the edge of the mirror here too and you've got a socket because it's a european van and above that we have got a display cabinet for you to keep your cosmetics and things so maybe just a mirror in the toilet would have been nice 
nice big towel ring up there for you to hang your towel on right to the bedroom well we have steps up into the twin configuration which converts into a large double we have got here a pull out bedroom television that's an optional extra you don't have to have it but nice to have if you're into watching tv in bed and some fabulous cupboards for your clothes there is lighting under there there's recessed lighting around the bed too if i can turn it on there we go skylight above we have got cladding on the ceiling as well it's not just fabric it's got the sort of same finish as the cupboards on the ceiling so that's a nice finish over the bed there we've got usb and plug socket and some more lighting controls we have got these little handles now i did query what they were for and it's to hang your cushions on so they have like little straps that go over and press stood together so that they can stand up against them as a sort of bolster cushion and under this one we have got a different sort of spring system to the Heimer I looked at before um, it's still springy though so that's very good and allows ventilation and you've got slats in this section so this has got a catch to pull out the steps on this one so when you put your infill cushion in you can still gain access to the bed quite easily and that just clicks away back into position and locks away now under these beds we do have access to a hanging rail with huge storage space on it's the same on both sides and there is access from the front too I hope you've enjoyed this tour of this Carthago S Plus. It is a brand new vehicle. This is the 61 XLLE, which is quite a mouthful. Um, yes, as, and as I say, it's on the Aveco. Um, beautiful vehicle, uh, really nice finish, and the quality of the materials is fabulous. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up if you have. And if you're interested in this vehicle, um, you know, contact Southdown Motorhomes. I'm sure they can help you out. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.